Hello everyone, Shogun87 joining you again with some more Sail Simulator 5, finally. Um, found a good race to actually uh, compete in, and some good competitors. Uh, laser class is very popular in the game, so that's pretty much all I ever really do anymore. That and the Volvo Ocean 70 boat. Um, actually, I, I like the 470s too, but yeah. So a different kind of race course. If you look up at the right upper corner, you can kind of see how it's playing out. We're getting ready for the start here. I'm kind of just going back and forth. Yeah, sorry I've been uh, away for a while. I've been really busy. Uh, got a new computer, so I've been playing around with some other games uh, other than Sail Simulator. And uh, like I said, I was going to stay true to the people that subscribe to this channel and like the Sail Simulator stuff. I know I'm probably one of the few guys that end up making videos for this game. And I know you guys enjoy it, and I hope you keep coming back. Um, you can see here we're just kind of luffing before the start. And, uh, got too far towards the boat here, so I wanted to get up a little bit. I think I timed it pretty perfectly. I'm pretty good at that in this game. Yeah. I'm always within like a second or two of the line when the gun goes off. I got a good, uh, good brain for time on distance. Isn't that... But this guy that we're battling with here, to my windward side, he's the one that, uh, shout out to him, he actually wanted me to record this race. One of my subscribers on this YouTube channel, so. Good to see someone's, uh, watching my videos and also racing. But he's starting to give me some bad air here, and I'm trying to creep up on him to get on the other side of him. Get out of the bad air, and try to get up closer to the mark. Which is kind of a sacrifice, because you're going to let him get away from you. But it's better to be in your own air. And then he starts pointing too high here. And I think I decided to fall back off again, because it's... You know, you can either pinch, or you can go for speed, and it's actually better to go for speed. You know, even though it looks like he's getting away from me here, it's going to pay off in the long run. But yeah, this was an interesting race because, um, oh, what's his name? Luca Vanna. Luke Vanna? I don't know, the German guy. I race against him a lot in this game. He's really good downwind, and I'm really good upwind. And he always seems to get me on the downwind legs, especially in the laser class. Um, any boat that I have a spinnaker in, I usually do pretty good downwind. But with just the main, or with just the main and a jib, I'm really not that good downwind. I think that translates to real life, too. Um, yeah, I decided to tag over here and go at the mark before anybody else does. Which was a bit too early. That was a mistake. I think I ended up having to pit, uh, pinch here a little bit to try and get up on it. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of current as well. but Turns out to be a pretty good race, as you'll see. And I have another... I recorded the race right after this. Um, which I did slightly better in. And uh, that video will follow right after this race, actually. So here we are, kind of pulling the main in. Trying to get up a little bit. I get some dirty air again from that guy. And I get screwed on the current here, so I end up having to tack over again. Yeah, some of these guys are some of the best racers in the game, so to be able to stick with them was pretty good. And you'll see in the next race I actually end up beating a bunch of them. But yeah, someone asked me, I don't know, months ago I guess about a, a tutorial video, how I do my sail trim and everything like that. And uh, I'll probably make a video for that pretty soon. Uh, pretty shortly. Like I said, I've been really busy um, during the holidays and the beginning of this month. But, um, yeah, sail trim, I don't know. You just gotta play around with it. Find out what's good for you. Yeah, find out what works and what doesn't work, obviously. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, you can see I have it on automatic, but I'm usually with my right, um, the right clicker on the mouse, I'm usually playing it in and out, playing the sail. And uh, you have to feel start, you know, you start to feel overpowered. I let the main out a little bit, or if you fall off and you want to go for a little more speed, you let it out for a little bit. Uh, if I want to head up, I pull it in. 
that. Some of the things that the having it on the automatic setting, it doesn't really do for you quick enough, so. And I play it through the waves. I mean, there's there's kind of big waves through here, and I think I was playing it a little bit, but, uh, you know, usually I pull it in and go up up the uh, slope of the, ra uh, the wave and then let the main out and fall off coming down the back end of the wave. And that usually tends to give me the best not only pointing but the speed as well where the waves not disrupting you know everything uh... so now that we're at the downwind leg there was a little bit of lag there Let's see the sail <laughs> that's usually a pain in the butt because you can crash right into somebody in you know if they're lagging and the game doesn't really account for it. you know you should be able to ghost through them or something but oh well so we're still on this race we're starting to go downwind yeah, I got my center board up a little bit, but not too much here. Release the boom vang, and I'm trying to play these waves. You know, these waves weren't really ideal. You know, if they were a little bit bigger, I would have been able... You can see me steering back and forth, and what I'm trying to do with that is, with waves like this, you want to turn your rudder into the wave in order to catch it. You're basically... You're turning the rudder to create, like, a... Almost like a wall that the wave is going to hit, and it's going to push you. Um... You know, the wave's not only hitting that, but it's hitting the boat and pushing you, but if I've learned, and I've done this in, in real life as well, and it works perfectly with, like, 30-foot boats and 26-foot boats, anything like that. Uh, if you have big enough waves and you're able to steer with them, you know, steer, in, you know, steer into the wave and then fall off and let it push you, it, it really makes a difference in how much distance you have, at, you know, during a certain time. And especially with the laser class in this game, that's what I end up doing. But we're trying to get a third place here. You see Luke Ivana, like I said, he just passes everybody on the downwind leg. I don't know what he's doing differently. I'm trying to look at his sail trim and see what he was doing differently. I mean, I was set up pretty good for this race. I had too much weight on my guy, though, um, for the wind conditions. And that's what I did before the next race, was I lowered the weight on the person. Yeah, we gave that guy some bad air and came across him, so we got a good third place locked up for this uh, race here. The other thing with the laser class, um, for any new you know players to this game, it, you need to slide your weight forward, you know, the weight of your person forward, which you can do down at that, uh, that steering wheel symbol down on like the bottom right there. You just click on that and slide it all the way forward, and you can slide your guy back and forth, and uh, you get better performance and speed when you have the weight as far forward as you can get it. Yeah, pretty good race, pretty good finish there. Now it's, I think it's going to skip to the next video. Yeah, it did. So I think this is already halfway through the race, and I'm still leading. Like I said, I lowered the body weight on the guy. I think I lit the... I don't know, lit the Cunningham. I don't know. Yeah, well, I got a little bit more belly on the sail, as you can see here, I think, compared to the last race. Which ended up giving me a little bit more um, performance. Especially on the reach here. At downwind, I, I don't know, I still can't... Still not as good as some people. You can see... You know, you'll see here in a second, I kind of get passed up. <laughs> we have a pretty interesting mark rounding. Let's just, you know, let's just say that. You can see again here the way I'm turning the rudder around, I'm trying to catch the waves to push me. And these waves, like I said, they weren't really perfect for what I was trying to do, but you know, I had to try something. If they were slightly larger, it would have worked perfectly. I probably would have gained about three or four knots every with every wave that I caught. And you can ride that for you know several, you know, maybe 20 seconds or so, and then. You know, the wave will finally pass underneath the boat and you'll slow down, but... Yeah, these guys start creeping up on me over here. Makes for a pretty interesting, uh, mark rounding. You know, I start realizing about here I'm getting bad air, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to give him mark room. And Luca Vanna again, just passing everybody. I don't know what <laughs> he's got like an outboard underneath that thing. And these two have an interesting battle behind me. I, um, not sure if that guy had overlap before the mark rounding there, but anyway. Much better result than our last race, we finish a place up into second. This is pretty much just a straight shot to the finish line here. Nothing interesting going to happen. But yeah, I have a few more uh, videos recorded from races from this past week I've done, so including a pretty funny one of just somebody not obeying the rules that I'm going to tear them apart. <laughs> so I hope you guys uh, like this video and stay tuned for more. With Sail Simulator and other games, I'll probably have some Arma 3 up very shortly. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Thank you so much, and see you next time.